Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. I'll go... Right, first up, we're going to go up the hill and we're going to grab them up there. So we're loading out on the right-hand side at the moment. So it's these two up here that I want to get. There's one... And there's two. Okay. Right, let's see if I can reverse this in any way successfully. We'll get as far as there. I don't really need to worry about going any further than that. And then I will bring it around. And I will stop here. And we'll just sort of go forward slowly. Uh, loading, I'm on the wrong side. That's why. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that actually worked really, really well. That was exactly what we wanted. So then, if I turn that one off, I, well, I've switched it. I've I've switched the the loading side, and then I'll bring it round here. And there are stumps everywhere here. We're gonna need to get that stump grinder to turn this into any kind of a field here. Then we'll go past this again. It is loading at the moment, yep. Yeah. And that one. And we'll come on down here. I've got two to pick up right here. So this is where we sort of slow down a little bit. Because if you go too sharp around the corner or too fast going around the corner, it does cause problems. And over here. So I should have three of them on this bit. This is half a load. This is just half a load. What side of my load? Oh, yeah, that's right. And bring it round fairly sharp. Like that. haul it up the hill and there we go so we got the last one loaded let's put the straps on and then we can head to the sawmill so this is five trees that we've got here which is what that's about 15,000 I think I'm able to go a lot faster and I'm running down the edge of our land here and then I'm coming round and I'm still on our land here going up so that we can go across the road and then we will go up our track before we go out onto the main road on the top so we'll turn our beacon on up here there's a car there there is no cars coming the other way we can just keep going ideal and I should also be able to stop as well, which is another good thing. So we've got a decent turn of speed going here. I don't think that we're saving ourselves a huge amount of time by loading this thing right up to the gunnels. I mean, we are saving a bit of time, I suppose. If you load it all the way up. But I can stop safely there. At least I can with it in a straight line. What's he like going around the corner? He's actually pretty good going around the corner as well. Overall, it does seem that the way forward with this is doing it like this. Now, I would like to be able to bring back a trailer. I don't know if I can do it on the back of this one. Now, this one does have the option to do a... Um, actually, you know what I want to find out? I want to find out if... this. I think this trailer has the option for a rear hitch. Um, I want to find out if this one will allow me to sell while it's on the trailer. I don't think it will. I think this... No, there's, there's nothing happening there. I think that is... There's just something weird going on with that. So, we are... Let's just make sure that we're loading on the correct side. Uh, switch to the... No, we're on the correct side, so we want to just do that. There we go. Let all of that lot unload shouldn't take very long excellent and what have we got right so there's 
one branch there that I think needs to just move in a little bit. The others, I think, are okay now. So, there we go. Excellent. So, there's 14,000. We're about halfway to our desired thousands. We could probably go... I mean, could we go a little bit more in the trailer? Maybe a bit more than that. I mean, if that was 14,000, we had like 28,000 on the last load. So, we could get close to 10 trees in the trailer, which is an awful lot of trees. It's taking a lot of trees to get the money that we need. And I'm very aware that we may not, like, m money is going to be an issue, isn't it? Money is definitely going to be an issue. We, we've got to figure out how the best, like, what is the best way forward on this? Like, um, hmm. Do I want it? Right. Definitely, I definitely do want to go and buy the next bit of land. The, the bit that's to our right and left at the moment. Everything around the yard. We definitely want to get that. And that's going to open up the ability to chop down a whole load more trees than what we've already got access to. Now, we've got access to some trees, which is good. And we want to keep having access to those trees but we're fast running out of those trees we've already chopped down most of them and we haven't yet got the target for the next piece of land and that piece of land is only sort of a temporary thing to hold us until we get a bit more money to go and get the next piece of land after that which yeah that's um it seems like a long-winded way of doing things now, the other thing that we've got to be aware of is we don't currently have anywhere to store our grain. I could go and buy some equipment to do some mowing. I'm just going to shut you off there. We're going to park you right there for a minute. Um, I, so I can't use this land for mowing. I could try plowing it up so that we can plant it in the spring and like put oats in there. I was thinking that maybe that would be a thing that we could do. And... Um, then we've got uh, another cash crop that we can sort of make the most of. That might actually be a better option. If I get the stump grinder, I can then plow up. Because we've got a big area here that we can plow. If I was to go and plow it. What I don't have is a GPS on the tractor. Which I would actually really like. I don't think I've got a GPS. Either of you have a GPS, you don't. Oops. Oh, I was taking the roller off. That's what it was. Uh, no, I don't. I haven't got a GPS on the tractors. So that's 15,000 if I wanted to get a GPS system, which is another big chunk of money. If I was to do beekeeping and get some honey, which is something I was actually talking about. Did think that maybe, no, I wouldn't do it. I'm... Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in chickens. We've got a fenceless husbandry here, which is 100... Would allow us to have 150 chickens. And we've also got 360 chickens possible with the coop that we had in the last series. Now, I actually rather like the idea of having that one. It's nine grand. The fenceless one is good. Only has 150 chickens, so it's not like going to be a massive amount of money coming in. Um, but it's also only 2,000. This one here is much more than double that i also this one i sort of feel like if we were going to get that one we would have to have a building of some kind to go with it and yeah I'm, I'm not really sure what we would do uh the others are a wee bit expensive i mean we could go with this one which is the fs19 looking one and I actually rather like the idea of that one, but it's 20,000 for just 100 chickens. This one is 400 chickens that we can get in here, but it is also 40 grand, which is a big chunk of change. Now, if we were to do that, that's going to take us a long way away from 
the forestry type stuff that we were doing at the moment and um, that we've been doing and i sort of I've, I've been thinking about this right hang on let's let's skip the night and then we can talk again about um because I'm sort of getting an idea of how many trees we're going to have to cut down if I continue down the line of buy the land around the um, dealership and then buy the piece of land up here. Like, we'd be committed to cutting down an awful lot of trees because one full load is 10 trees and that gets about 27 to 30 grand now if we generously call it 30 grand for a load um we need two more loads to be able to get that one that's fine but then well actually we'd need a bit more than that um no two full loads and then we would need to go and cut down another six full loads to get that and that's a lot of episodes that's a lot of just straight cutting timber with nothing else to really show for it and then after we bought that what do we got we've then got a, a whole load of other work sort of staring us in the face so what i'm thinking is that we kind of break this up a little bit now bees they generate some good passive income like you you plonk the beehive down so i mean we've got enough money we could get two of these now that's going to get us a decent bit of passive income and and we just go and sell the honey now we can do that once a year you do that in february and make a fortune or we could sort of um sell it every month regardless of what the amount is and then you've got sort of a bit more regular income coming in that's a possibility and i have said before you know i was thinking that maybe this time we would do bees because we didn't really do very much to them in the last one but also like once you've forked out that money that 40 grand that goes out there's nothing else to do like, there's no input required for bees chickens on the other hand you do need to feed them we would actually need to feed them i whilst i really like the idea of having this chicken coop again at just 9,000 for the income that we would be getting from it, it, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't feel suitably balanced for what I got in mind for this series. This one, however, I really like. And I also like um, bringing this one back into play anyway. So I'm kind of thinking that we would level some of this area out down here. I mean, actually, this would be about the best spot to put it is right down there the moment is just telling us that we don't have enough money to level that one out but it's 40 grand so if we level out a big area right there we can then go and put those chickens in unfortunately we don't have any food for them right now and because i want everything in this series to be self-sufficient we're not going to be able to get them just yet so we're gonna have to wait until a bit later i would also like to be able to get well actually we could do that right now we're like we're, we'll let's speed this up a bit we're right we're in november at the moment so if we go up to 60 times speed like that and then we will jump into construction now we do have free landscaping that is one little joy that we have got and i'm gonna make full use of it now so with our free landscaping we kind of want i don't want to level down at the bottom right there because it means that we'll be digging into the hillside quite a lot so i want to come up the hill uh, about there i think and that is gonna be my starting off point so if i spread this out a bit like that there it's gonna raise up a, a bit of an area here and i'll just come down the side of that all the way around like that lower that down a bit more there that's that's a good start right because what i want to do then is this is going to go quite a substantial step bigger and i'm also going to make that as strong as it can go like that and then i can just start doing this so i'm raising up quite a bit but what i'm going to do is i kind of just want to find the the point where it meets the high point going around the hill so we're we're raising this up at the moment just over to here 
actually not going to be a high point going around the hill there. But there will be here. There you go. That's the point where it changes. Right there, you can see the ground just starting to drop down a little bit around the edges of that. And that's what I want. I want to bring all of this out. Over there, like that, and... Bring that bit over as well. We'll sort of get to about there. Now, where am I standing? Where am I standing? There, I'm, I'm over there, uh, which means... I think I'm... Let's have a look. Right, we own number six. We don't own the land there. I'm within our boundary, actually. Only just, but I am within our boundary right there. So if I stand here, sort of look towards our farm. There, I'm on the edge of the land that we own. So if I, I can sort of use that as a marker. So we can't do... A, it always does that. Um, we can't do anything over there, but we can sort of do stuff here. So what I can do next is we come in and we've got that all leveled out now. If we then go to chickens, this one is 40,000. That's 40... 40,030. I don't know why it's saying at 30, but we will see about that in a bit. So we can make that a bit bigger and a whole lot stronger. Right, now, let's bring that up towards where I'm standing and also run it down that way. And now we'll shrink that down a bit. And then bring it over here and kind of just go to the edges of this. So all we've done at the moment is a lot of leveling work. And, I mean, what we've actually done is we've created an artificial pond right there. We've put drainage in. I mean, there's a natural dip in here anyway. It does dip. If you look at the, the lie of the land right there, it does actually um, dip down there. It's not dip. Yeah, there's... There's more of a dip over here, so, like, that would be quite a natural wet spot in the field. We've just put some drainage in all the way down through. So, just keep that in mind. There is drainage in there. We don't need to worry about it too much. Now then, next bit. I want the animals, chickens, and we want to put this one in. So, the... We buy the chickens from the front. I, we want this turned around. We don't want that that way. We want it facing that direction like that. So that's 4,025, 23. 4,018 right there. That's going to 4,030. Right, I think 4,030 is about the cheapest that we're going to get this. I'm um, actually thinking that we should... Do I want to angle it or not? What do you think? Hmm. Trying to find the cheapest. I reckon that we'll put it about there. I kind of want to angle it a little bit, but at the same time, I want to be able to drive past fairly easily, so... Let's try that, shall we? And see what that does. And then we go back into landscaping, and we will go to the smoothing function. Let's just make that a little bit bigger there. And I'm just going to smooth along the back of it here. Like that. And then we'll do a little bit of smoothing just along that side. There isn't a huge amount there that I want to do. Same as along the front here. There's not going to be a huge amount that I want to do on that. Now, it's actually getting late, so we can leave this. We can come back and do a bit more of this one tomorrow. That is where we've got to 
have a track coming in from here so that we'll be able to feed our chickens once we've got them and then we're also going to be able to want to access that bit there in order to gather up the eggs as they spawn now we can save eggs all the year round if we want to but that kind of doesn't really fit with eggs does it eggs don't keep all that well so i'm thinking that we would be better off if we do try to sell the eggs fairly regularly um Yes, there'll be a couple of months there where the price is like four months there where the price is actually really low. But the eggs tend to spike once in June and again in November. It's a higher spike in November, but you, you do get like a double spike in them. And I actually really like that about eggs. Uh, I've noticed that on other maps and this one doesn't seem to have changed anything with that. So we're going to call that a good thing. And we're going to just let us skip the night again so we're into december and we have started snowing i'm not buying in any food for chickens so the other thing that we're going to want is some money to be able to buy a silo to store the grain now pigs is going to obviously we still we're going to want to be getting pigs later but we, we're not going to be going for those just yet because we've now decided to go for eggs. Um, I'm still going to need a silo to be able to store them in. It's one thing that we are going to want is to be able to store those in the silo. So if let's just drop down here. We go to the flower. 735 December. Now is the time. So this is what I generally do with this. You can just sort of drop between the two that's not raising or lowering and it's 736 seems to be a high point at the moment so i'm going to Ooh, i've only got seven gra how much is that trailer that we want to buy no it's not an orca wagon it's a trailer and i'm just going for the standard trailer i'm not going to do anything fancy i mean i could go for that one but the yeah that's that's more that costs more we don't want that one we we'll go for the standard one, old familiar. We've used this many times, and it does work. We know it works. It's reliable. It's exactly what we need for the job. There you are. 9,000, and I have 7,700, which is a slight problem. Very such a slight problem. However, there may be a way around this. All right, it's coming up to 10 o'clock. 739, that's gone up to. All right, that means that the price is climbing still. I'll go to 120. 739. 740. It's pretty much slowed down now, so we're... I don't think it's going to change any more than that unless the price, unless we get this one going up. If it does, then we may get a little tiny bit more. I don't think we're going to, though. And there is one, oh, 742. There is one other way that we could possibly generate a little bit, but we're not going to get very much money out of it. So I'm, I'm not sure it's going to be a good idea. I'd say that we can safely call that as far as we're going to get. Now then, where are we going to get 2,000? I need two grand to be able to go and buy that trailer. Or I have to wait until next year and then sell it again. I've got 5,000 there. And then there's 3,000 on the ground. I don't know where to put it, even if I can buy it. And what's that going to get me? At the moment, the price is 700, 743. So if we say 750 times 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, we're not even going to get the price of the trailer come back. I would very much like to be able to get that trailer. But I'm also very much aware that, you know, if if we don't happen to get it back, if I don't sell it this year, that's about 8,000 that we could get there. If I go and do another load of timber, I could get like 20-odd thousand. 
And with that 20,000, we may still be able to go and buy stuff. So we'll leave that. We're on three times speed. And we'll go up here and we'll chop down some more timber. Once we've done that, we'll run up. I would like to get a stump grinder. And I'm also thinking that maybe we should seriously consider plowing up field six here. Which means then we'll get more crop that we can go and plant. So we could plant some oats maybe this time. And we can get those planted in the spring. Which means that we will then be able to make a bit of money for uh, next autumn. With the, the big downside with chickens is that we have got no fertilizer coming in whatsoever. I can do the old faithful of using um, oilseed radish. And we know that oilseed radish works. We know that it's a reliable one. So that's one layer of fertilizer that I can put on my crops. But I can't do anything else other than that. And um, because I'm not getting the pigs yet, that means that we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Right, how many is that? That's one, two, three, four. Let's cut down a fifth one here. Uh, so I want to buy the trailer for 9,000. Let's have a look in here. I would also like to get a stump grinder. We need a stump grinder. Now, there are a number of different ones. That's 25,000. These just get hideously expensive. I don't think that they're... I've got a logging blade there, which you just use to push the blade around, which ain't, you know, really what we're after. Uh, just kidding. Crane. No, no, no. Right. It would appear that any kind of stump grinder is prohibitively expensive. You used to be able to get a really cheap stump grinder. This one right here, there was a much cheaper version of this one in the last game. It wasn't 27,000. I mean, we got this one here, which is 24,000. 24 and a half. Again, still rather expensive. So a stump grinder might not be something that's on the cards just yet, which is a bit of a shame. I would really like to have a stump grinder, but I mean, if we get the trailer and then we sell the flower anyway, we'll want the trailer for... This is why I'm going to get a bit more than just five trees. We want the trailer so that we can get the... Um eggs moved as well like where we get chickens we're going to want to be able to move the eggs so we need that trailer anyway regardless of what happens we have to have the trailer so we might as well invest in the trailer now and get that thing right let me run down the trees so we'll do a load of trees work our way Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.